<clears throat> hey everyone, this is the Phoenix. Back to do another energy update for the sign of Aries. Just keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Aries. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming to for you guys this month. Alright, so you're finally stepping into your own power here. You're becoming who you're supposed to be. You're finally taking control. You're in charge. You're no longer trying to manipulate a situation, but you're trying to be better for yourself. Because you've been feeling a lot of lack lately. A lack in confidence, a lack in finances. You feel like you just couldn't get things right. But there is stability on the horizon for you. There is going to be um, a flow of cash. Stability as regards to home and family. So things are finally going to start falling into place for you. Yeah. <clears throat> you may not see how. You may not see how things will happen for you, but it will. It will. There is something new coming in for you when it comes to love and relationships. Also, with your finances, there is something new, a new opportunity, a new job offer, that sort of stuff coming in for you guys. But be careful not to be in your ego because you might actually miss the opportunity if you decide that what it is you want and how you want it. Just open yourself up to a new opportunity because there is a new opportunity coming in for you that will bring you a lot of stability in your life. Yeah. Okay, so for a lot of you, you feel like for those of you that are masculine or those of you that are feminine, embodying the masculine energy, you feel like you can't find anyone to take care of you. You feel like when it comes to relationships, like you are always the one taking care of someone else and you're tired of that you're ready for someone to reciprocate you but for some reason you feel like you're not getting that reciprocation when it comes to a relationship yeah yeah you want to have victory you want to be seen you want to finally move things along for yourself and a relationship is definitely on your mind, but you don't want a relationship with just anyone. You want a relationship with somebody that will provide some type of stability in your life. So you're back and forth in your head, wondering how do I achieve this? Because I'm so tired of taking care of everyone else and no one takes care of me. How am I going to even have a new beginning? Who is this new person I'm hearing? What are you guys talking about? Because whoever is viewing this at this point in time, that is one of the questions. Who is this new person you guys are talking about? Will this person actually match my energy? Yes, they will. Yeah. Because you have had a lot of sleepless nights trying to get things to work for you, trying to make the right decisions, trying to put things in place, trying to take action that is right for you but for some reason it always goes in the next direction so it's like <clears throat> how do i get this to make sense yeah you keep going back and forth in your head you, you your your ego probably causes you to have these emotional upsets because you're in your ego quite a bit you're doing a lot of self-deception yeah and all you need to do is have patience that the divine knows exactly who and when to bring them into you. Yeah. You want a passionate new beginning happening. You want someone that you can actually show off and be with. Someone that does want a relationship with you. Does see how great you are. Does want you to be their divine masculine. It's just this feeling of wanting the right person to show up for you now. You're tired of, yeah... Yeah, you're tired of having to defend yourself, having to take care of others. You're just at your wit's end here. And you're ready to move into a new era of your life where you can meet someone that will help take care of you just the way that you help take care of them. 
you want somebody to reciprocate things with you but yeah yeah because when you look back on your past you realize there are a lot of things that you ignored in order to have a relationship but ignoring what it is you did ignore caused you a lot of heartache and pain so now you're not seeing that the universe is bringing you abundance is bringing you the person that is right for you because you've manifested it here you've been manifesting this for a long time but yet still you're questioning it could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn but this person is coming in ready for commitment this person is ready to <clears throat> go the distance with you yeah to have a stable new beginning with you this is something that is worth having so if you've been questioning why so many people have been showing up in your orbit where you had to take care of them, you needed to learn a lesson. There was a lesson there that you needed to learn, but now the universe is bringing you someone that can match your energy, someone that is ready for the type of stability that you are desiring. They are going to bring in someone that <clears throat> you can basically be yourself with. Because I feel like in the past you had to put on a lot of charades for a lot of different people, try to make it work, but yet still it never did work, did it? Alright, so let's see. Who is this person coming in for Aries? Who is this person coming in for Aries? Okay, so it's a new beginning when it comes to love. So it's a new person, a new beginning, something that will bring you a lot of abundance, a lot of emotional fulfillment. Yeah, but this person has had their eye on you for some time. They were just waiting for the right time to come towards you with the offer of a new beginning when it comes to love. But it would be a serious offer. Because this person have been watching you for a long time and they have been putting things basically into place where they can meet you on the half yeah because this person saw you or knows that you've been hurt by the way you speak by the way you speak to this person when you do meet them they will know that you have been through some type of cheating something someone cheated on you someone lied to you someone manipulated you someone used you yeah and you're at that point in your life where you're done playing games you're ready to settle down now and because of this you're finding it hard for anyone to take you seriously because you have been in this energy for so long yeah you keep juggling back and forth between sexual partners just wait, awaiting the right person to come but that is what is keeping you stuck that energy is what is keeping you stuck yeah because you know you know you are no longer attracted to them emotionally maybe physically but not emotionally and what you're desiring and looking for is someone that wants stability but you're not giving yourself the space to let that person come towards you yeah you will have your happiness you will have emotional fulfillment you will be able to start something new with someone but it was taking a, a bit longer than you would have liked to reach to you because you guys are egotistical and you have no patience but for a lot of you it is now coming into alignment for you to have the type of relationship that you've been desiring all along you will get clarity in a situation this is you finally speaking your truth finally standing in your truth finally knowing exactly what it is you want because i feel like for a long time a lot of you didn't know what it is you wanted and that person is about to show up for you could be a scorpio pisces or cancer but this person is going to love you the way you've always desired to be loved this person is the type of person that you're going to get married to this is the person that will bring you the most emotional fulfillment and happiness but it may be someone that you stop talking to for a long time. So you may have blocked this person on social media. And for some reason, I'm feeling like a bounce up is going to happen. Like you're going to go to the store and then you're going to bump into this person out of nowhere. But you're going to pretend that they don't look good now. You're going to pretend that because you rejected them in the past, you don't really care right now. But that will not be the truth. 
you will be very attracted to this person because this is your person. The timing is now right for you and this person to come together. Maybe in the past, um, <clears throat> you may have known this person through a mutual friend for some of you I'm hearing. But it is not someone you've ever been in a relationship with. It's probably someone that may have liked you, but you brushed them off at the point in time. But, yeah. You're going to act all cool, but you're going to be pretty excited by this person. Yeah. What is hidden from you will be revealed to you very soon. The person that I'm speaking about, you probably do know them, but you've never had a relationship with this person. It's not a coming back energy. It's probably like you knew this person, you knew they liked you, but it's more of a new type of energy. Yeah. Once you step into your masculine energy, and you become the best version of you that you can be. You're literally going to be a magnet for the right people to show up for you. Yeah. Really do some deep dives into yourself and figure out the lesson that the universe tried to teach you with past relationships. And you're going to realize that you do need some healing as regards to being deceptive with people or playing games with them. Yeah. It is the reason why the last person that you wanted to be in a serious relationship with actually played you because you played somebody else and that was karma that you were getting paid back for. Yeah. That person didn't want a commitment from you, but you wanted it from them. This person may also be a recent divorcee or this person may be, um, they may have children. But everything is going to happen pretty quickly. It's not going to be any period of time before you realize, oh my God, this person is my person. It's going to be fast moving energy happening here. Yeah. Yeah, and you're going to take, you're going to decide to take the leap of faith with this person, but take things slow because this person has also been hurt from past relationships and they are going to be very cautious when it comes to you and a relationship. So be very careful as to not come on too strongly to this person because they may actually run from you. All right. But this is someone that has been hurt as well. Like I said, they may have gone through a divorce. But it is someone that will suit you perfectly. Yeah. Could be a whole classmate I'm hearing for some of you. But you were never in a relationship with this person. It's not someone coming back from your past. It's new. Let's see the outcome of this situation. Let's see the outcome to this situation. Okay, so the outcome is, yeah, like I said, there is going to be some type of bounce up or a message or somebody reaching out to you or you reaching out to someone and you're going to reconnect with this person through someone else or through accidental purposes yeah you're going to decide to take action towards them now where you may have not decided to do so in the past <clears throat> yeah they may not be financially stable when you meet them this might be someone that you're actually going to have to start to take care of as ironic as that is but this will be someone that will stick around and be your stability when it is time. When you need somebody to be there. Yeah. Because I feel finances for this person may be an issue at this point in time. So you may have to step up and be this person's hero. Yeah. But for a lot of you, you've ignored this person so long that you never really... You never gave this person the time of day, honestly. Yeah. You know that they were interested in you. I'm hearing from high school. So this could be someone that may have had a crush on you since high school. And you never gave them the time of day. You literally ignored them and stayed to yourself. But it, that is the type of person coming towards you. That is the type of relationship I'm seeing for you. Yeah, This person has definitely done a 360. This person that you may have ignored before is now in a healthier space in a healthier place is ready and looking for a commitment
because this person is basically looking for the same thing you're looking for because they may have gone through the same type of experiences that you have yeah but they did some work on themselves they did some healing on themselves to let go of the past let go of the pain and yeah they're ready to call in what is meant for them and that is when you're going to meet this person yeah this person has changed <coughs> they are so different now because for some reason i'm feeling like when you knew this person they were very kind quiet very well mannered and it is the reason why you never gave them the time of day because they just didn't match you at that point in time you know they didn't you didn't give them a second thought basically that is what i'm feeling yeah but this person had a glow up this person had a, a, a do over this person fell out in all the right places for you and it's going to be something really mind-blowing to you yeah you're going to rush into this person and start communicating with them and wanting to be around them where you would not have given them the time of day before there is just something different about this person that you never noticed before hmm, interesting so you may not have paid attention to someone in your past but it's coming back around for you yeah this person is interested in commitment in building a home and family they do see themselves having children so for a lot of you that could definitely be some type of motivation yeah but this is literally karma coming back to you because you rejected this person in the past never gave them a second thought and that was the person that was meant for you so you could have saved yourself a lot of heartache and pain that is the way you'll think but that is not how it was supposed to happen let me tell you that now so you're going to think that if i had given this person a chance all along my life would have been so better no it would not have it would not have been like that you had to go through the experiences that you did go through in order to get to the point to heal yourself to evolve enough to actually see this person's words and value yeah they're going to help you heal from that broken heartedness they are going to come in ready for commitments yeah and they're definitely going to you may have to apologize to this person depending on exactly how the situation went yeah but this person has been doing the inner work for themselves for some time so this is this is somebody that went through their heartache and pain and they healed from it yeah and now they're coming back or they're showing up as your full desire yeah yeah you didn't want to make an offer to this person before but this is the person that you're going to get married to the person that you're going to build a life with the person that is definitely going to be the person for you but understand this if you did accept them the first time around it may not have worked out so everything happened in its timing and it's now timing for you to see this person's worth value and for it to add to your life all right so this is what i have for you guys i hope it does help have a good one